Hi, my name is Eric Curland, and my passion is stereoscopic 3D. Now, we see the world in 3D because we have two eyes, and our eyes are about two and a half inches apart. So our left eye sees a slightly different view of the world than our right eye. And in our brains, we take those two images and fuse them together and interpret all those differences between the two views into depth. So 3D is actually all in our heads. Now you may be familiar with 3D from the current wave of 3D movies and theaters, but did you know that 3D has a very long history? In 1838, an inventor named Sir Charles Wheatstone built a device he called the stereoscope that allowed him to look at pairs of images in 3D. The first photographers in the 1850s put two cameras together to shoot left views and right views. And in fact, the American Civil War was documented in 3D. Throughout the Victorian era, 3D stereoscopes and stereo cards were sort of the television of the day. It was the popular form of entertainment. And then into the 20th century, the first 3D movie was shot in 1923. In the 1950s, saw 3D's golden age with a whole bunch of 3D movies, comic books, and magazines. 3D was, again, a popular form of entertainment. Now, in recent years, 3D's kind of come and gone. But now, with digital presentation of 3D, it certainly seems to be here to stay. And that brings me to why I'm here today. 3D does have a long history. And sadly, over the past few years, we've lost several of the historians who have been working so hard to maintain and preserve that history for future generations. That's why we're starting 3D Space, a sort of a 3D museum, a center for stereoscopic 3D photography, art, cinema, and education, where the 3D community and the public can come together to share and learn and experience 3D past, present, and future. Your donation to the 3D Space Project will help preserve these rare stereoscopic programs so that they can be seen by future generations. I look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to providing you with updates as 3D Space progresses. You can keep up with us right here at 3dspace.org. So until next time, I'll see you in 3D.